Yes, this video is not a clickbait. This is about how to go to North Korea. Yeah, North Korea. You can go to North Korea. You don't need to be a government official, an important person, or even a journalist. You just need to be. Hey guys, what's up? My name is Shar, and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is all about how to go to North Korea, and then I'm gonna share some tips along the way, and I'm gonna tell you the do's and don'ts in North Korea. So I'm thinking that because I need to go right now to go to the subway station to catch my train, I'm thinking of doing some voiceover uh, throughout the video, or I'm gonna stop along the way to do some vlogs, cause I am in fact in a hurry, okay? So you better watch the whole video so that you would know how to go to North Korea, the do's and don'ts in North Korea, and the tips that I'm gonna give out. Cause you know it's North Korea, better safe than sorry. Okay, so B-roll of me going to the subway station, come in right now.我是租车我实在租不着了我我非得逼着上上那找去他不是你们老板说啥这那的我我是冲你去的我是跟你办事我跟他办事吗那你办不了你让我去干啥去 So we just finished getting our tickets and I'm in a place that I think is the best place to do this vlog because it is quiet. I'm gonna try to edit out the noise as much as possible that I can. And we're just waiting for the boarding time so let's dive in. So I think the first question should be how to go to North Korea. Like I said in the beginning of the video, you don't need to be a somebody to go to North Korea but you do need to be a part of a tour group. It is not possible for you to travel to North Korea by yourself. Where can you find tour groups? You might ask me. Well, you can just go to www.google.com Yes, you heard it right. That's google.com Just search tour groups to North Korea and tons of search results will pop out. So I done my research a few months ago, even before this trip. I can categorize two types of tour groups. One, I like to call EO tour group. The other, I like to call them CO tour group. What is an EO tour group? An EO tour group is an English-only tour group. This group comprises of anyone that can speak English. Anyone from any country. That means Canadian, American, British, Filipinos, Malaysian, Singaporeans. So anyone that can speak English goes to this group. The CO tour group is the Chinese-only tour group. This group comprises of Chinese people or people who can speak Chinese. Which one should you choose? Well, an EO2 group will have an English interpreter. The meals will be catered to the culture it's serving, while the CO2 group will have a Chinese interpreter. Meals will also be catered to the culture it is serving, but it is much cheaper. You heard me right. The CO2 group is much cheaper than the English-only tour group. I don't know the reason behind this, but I've noticed that they charge the CO2 group way cheaper than the EO2 group. So if you're like me and you're a little bit spendthrift, I suggest you to choose the CO2 group, the Chinese only tour group. Just ignore the fact that you can speak to the people within your tour group, 
you might need to make sense of everything else in the tour. But then again, you save money. Once you have decided which tour group you would like to join, you then need to apply for a multiple entry Chinese visa. This is important. Let me repeat it again. You need to apply for a multiple entry Chinese visa and not a single entry Chinese visa. The way you go to North Korea will be the same way you get out of North Korea. You won't have enough time to apply for a 72 hour visa or a transit visa. China? You mean I need to go to China to go to North Korea? Yes, that is the only way to go to North Korea. So the multiple entry visa is really important. Most travel agencies will ask you to come to Beijing on your own, then they will fly you to Dandong, which is more expensive. I suggest you to tell them that you will meet them in Dandong instead. Then you go to Dandong by yourself by train. Because it's way cheaper, but it does take more time. The train ride to Dandong is about 13 hours. That's what, what I'm doing here at the train station. I am going to Dandong by train. Like I said, I am a spendthrift. So if it's cheap, count me in. And I'm okay with that. It saved me money and it gave me content for my last vlog, which is how to survive a long trip, carry on bag essentials. So if you want to check that out, I'm gonna link it right up here and link it in the description below. Second question. What do I need for the North Korea visa and how long should I apply in advance? You just need to provide your travel agency with a scanned copy of your passport and a JPG copy of your picture. And then they will process it by themselves. The visa, which is a piece of paper with your name and picture on it, it will not be stuck on your passport. It will be given to you at the time you meet your tour guide, either in Beijing or in Dantong. My travel agency was actually very quick. They processed our visa two weeks before our trip. But then it depends on which travel agency you go with. Third question, will you need to hand over your passport at any given time? Yes, they will collect your passport at the border. Don't worry, they will return your passport. They will return it at the time of your departure. The time you're leaving North Korea, you will get your passport back. Fourth question, do I need to exchange money? And if yes, where should I do it? North Korea accepts all currencies and will give change in the same currency. I think... Okay, we need, I actually need to go. My boyfriend is actually calling me. I think that's everything that you need to know about how to go to North Korea. Later on, I'm gonna meet my tour guide and I'm gonna answer the do's and don'ts in North Korea. So please don't leave the video, okay? B-roll of me meeting my tour guide. Three, two, one. Hey guys, so I met my tour guide and we're on the train to the border to Pyongyang. Um, I cannot vlog that loud because a lot of the people here on the train, they're already sleeping or they're already resting. So I need to be a little bit quiet, okay? I'm gonna tell you guys the do's and don'ts in North Korea, like my tour guide said, okay? So number one is you can bring a camera with you, take pictures, take videos of anything you like, as long as it's not a professional camera. And don't take inappropriate pictures of the statues of their leaders or any military personnel and operation. Number two, um, you can bring in food, fruits, bread with you to North Korea, but then you cannot bring it back. Like my tour guide said, she thinks this is not a North Korea's policy, but then it's China's policy. So I suggest you guys to bring lots of food with you before you leave Dantong. Number three is that you must follow your tour guide every time. You cannot go roam around and explore North Korea by yourself. If you want to go jogging and go somewhere after the tour, you must tell your tour guide. Then they will accompany you. Number four, you can bring your laptop with you, but not a flash drive. Any flash drive with pornographic materials will cause problems. I don't know what's the consequences, but yeah. And I also asked my tour guide if the North Koreans, like guards, uh, military personnel, do they really check the cameras? Um, she said that they don't really check cameras, but they would like to be informed. 
if you have a camera or a phone. I think that's it. So I'm actually going to sleep as well because I am very tired. Going to Tantong is 13 hours and this entire video, I just finished 13 hours, okay? So I'm going to go to sleep and remove my makeup. By the way, I am going to post my travel to North Korea. If you want to know more about like the rules in North Korea or any questions about North Korea, comment down below because by the time that I upload this video, I'm already back in Beijing, okay? Anyway, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. Goodbye and good night. Wish me luck.